What was Jim Ross's main role in the WWE slash F at the time you were working there? Um, Apart it, from being the color commentator, right? Yeah, I think he was talent relations when I was mm -hmm. there. Yeah, because like... I remember when I missed a flight, I had to call him. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I only missed one flight. <clears throat> I was up. I got to the airport like three hours early. But to be fair, I've been up all night. Maybe a couple of nights on my night home, like fighting or drinking or partying or whatever it was. Uh, I was home, but I was at the airport early. I, I took a taxi. And I remember going to the, uh, the, the, the ticket, the gate where I was at. Right. And I asked the lady, are you working the gate? And she goes, yeah, I'm working the gate and everything. I said, okay, I'm going to sit right here. I mean, I'm like, here's the counter. I'm sitting like right here in the chair. And, you know, the plane would load right there. So um, I have the ticket in my hand and, 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 you know, I went to sleep. Like the ticket just right here. I was so tired. I just went to sleep. I wake up and I don't see anybody oh. in the gate area. And I'm like, oh, so I have a panic. And I look over and I see the plane. I go, oh, but, but the, the lights are on. And I see that the... the, the the thing, the, the bridge pulling away. I'm like, oh. And there was the same lady right there at the gate. I go, hey, what? She goes, you know, you were sleeping so good and we were overbooked. I just figured I'd let you sleep. I was like, I was no. like, no, I'm going to Bakersfield. You know, I heard it's for TV taping. Um, and I was in Tampa. So you would have to fly to uh, Tampa to LA, LA to Bakersfield. Or, or But but I had to it just, it just, there wasn't many flights like that to get to yeah, right. there in time. And uh, I had to deal with JR, and he, and, and I go, um, I called him, and I said, you, you know, I said, I missed my flight, so he goes, yeah, well, you know, he started cutting, and I go, I, I don't have any excuse. I, I, didn't, I wasn't even going to try to tell him that I was at the airport early on the ticket. It sounds like such bullshit. So I just said, I just said, uh, no, I missed it. I'm sorry. I, it was my mistake. I totally missed it. I, I, there was nothing I could say. I, I, I could have told him the real story, but it would have sounded like such BS. Like I was just making shit up. And he goes, just, well, don't let it happen again. You know, and that was it. I showed up at the end of TV. I pulled in and felt like a heel. But no, nobody said anything more to me about that. But I'm sure it didn't help. Yeah. But that was the only flight I've ever missed in my life on my own. That's it. I mean, I've had cancellations. This and that, mm -hmm. But that is the only flight I ever missed. And, and after that happened, that's why I'm two hours and three hours. I'm still to the airport early, but I don't sleep. And now I set alarms and alarms <laughs> if I do, you know. Um, but yeah, JR, he was talent relations. He did a lot of hiring and firing and, and uh, handled problems and, and suspensions or, or testing, you know, and stuff like that, you know, talent relations. But he was, he was, uh, he was fair. He was fair. He was just an office guy doing his office things, you know. But cool. That was it. So, 